today we're going to remove the center console of a 2016 Dodge Dart. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is move the passenger and the driver's seat up forward. And then we're gonna use a small flathead to gain access to our screw here and just remove it just like that. It appears it's gonna be a 10 millimeter socket. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our 10 millimeter and we're gonna drive that out. Sweet. Now we're gonna to go to the passenger side. All right, and on the passenger side, the same thing. Go ahead and remove that cap. And we're gonna drive this out. And just put the screws in a nice safe location. Somewhere you're not gonna lose them. Same thing with these caps. All right, now we're gonna figure out how to remove it. All right, so the rear is loose. Just gotta loosen up the front. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is throw this bad boy into fourth. <laughs> just so you can have a little bit more access. You're gonna grab it on this side with one hand and on this side with another hand and you're just gonna pull out and out uh, we're gonna have to move the seat back all right and let me see pull right here we might have to move this piece real quick all right, it appears that there's a screw right there, and that one is going to be a seven millimeter. So we're gonna go ahead and, perfect, drive that out real quick. All right, and just keep your screw in a nice safe location somewhere you won't lose it. And now it looks like this is gonna come off. All right. And this one comes off. Oh, there's another one right here right on top so you might have to move the steering wheel to the side and get some access to it all right I have this collapsible extension you just press down on this here so real quick and it collapses <laughs> so I can make it to any length I need it and it locks onto place oh. oh and you stick it into here all right, now we're gonna go ahead and drive that out. Sweet. Cool. Now everything should come out. Perfect. Now we're just gonna disconnect all the pigtails that's back here. What's all that? What's that back here? Really? All right, so here we have the pigtails and we're just gonna go ahead and remove them. There's one. This one here looks a little tricky. Oh, it looks like you push that in and you pull this tab out. Oh, I gotta maybe use both hands. All right here, you're gonna have to stick a small screwdriver, press this release button. Use the screwdriver to press this up. So, and out it comes. This one here, let me see. All right, this one here has a little latch here. And it appears that there's one at the bottom as well. So just try not to break them and work it out. All right, on this one, whoops, take two. <laughs> there's actually a release lever here. You just press that and out it comes. And that should release the whole center. And that will give us access to these screws here. Looks like it's just two seven millimeter screws. So we'll go ahead and remove those real quick. All right. we'll just put these down there to the side. And let's see. All right, everything is loose. Now what we gotta do is remove this shifter. And how do we do that? Well, we're gonna find out that that's how you do it. 
<laughs> and then you take this piece off. And now it comes just like so. Perfect. Pull that bad boy back into shift. Pull this lever up and try to work it out. I'm gonna work it out and I'll show you how to do it. All right, and using a flathead or a trim tool, I don't know where I left mine. I think I've mentioned that in a couple of videos already. <laughs> I gotta look for it because I don't like leaving these little marks. But you just gotta be careful and pry this one off. Now you have access to take it all out. Push that down. Pull this up. You're gonna use both hands. And, oh, gosh, Lee, you're probably gonna need it. Okay. <laughs> all right, it seems like uh, we still have connections down at the bottom. So let's go down here and find out what's going on. This trim fell. Sweet. Hopped us out a little bit. Just a couple of clips. Now we're going to be able to see what's down here. Can you guys see it? Because I can't. I'm probably going to put these right here. One, two. And this one down here. Three. How about that? Oh, man. Awesome. Oh, look at this. this is another one. There it is. That will probably make it a lot easier to get this whole thing out. Now that we have it out. Gosh, small as There it is. And that's how you remove the center console on a 2000 and what year did I say it was? I said 16, but that one's an iffy. Could be 17. Dodge Dart. Boom. Turbo, homie. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.